Hey guys, this is Lab, and in this video, I uh, basically want to give you guys like a video tutorial or video demonstration explanation rather on how to do the back test and rehearse concept I was talking about yesterday. So um, this is IQ option, and uh, I will be using like a one minutes chart and a very very common approach to trading that most of you may probably have come across when you're looking across forums and the various uh, sites or well, you probably heard it on some Facebook group or forum, okay? So, a lot of people have this concept that uh, they'll do a reversal trade whenever you know the RSI is above 80 and for, for a put and a call when it's beneath, when it's beneath 20. Defaults here are 70 and 30. I'm just going to adjust them to 80 and 20. <clears throat> so basically, um, with this approach that we use, we'll be able to identify, like, you know, how often does this work? Uh, does it work? And what kind of expiry time? And it's going to give us information on like you know how can it work better for instance so that's a couple of things so assuming that i just picked up this idea and i just want to rehearse okay i want to go through the last 500 bars and the last 500 bars in this case that's like 600 minutes all right because um no sorry the last 500 bars is going to be if you want me to try it's 480 minutes what am I talking about? <laughs> the last 500 bars is 500 minutes, so that's that is just a little bit more than um, like 12 hours of data. So we're gonna go through like the last 500, and that's approximately, you know, like what's that? Six times six, three sixty, six times eight, forty. Uh, about eight hours and a bit. Okay, eight hours and a bit of data. Right now we are at 1331. We're gonna scroll back to 13 minus 8, that's 5. 5. 5 ish. So that's as far back as we should go. Okay, okay, of, of course it's good to go further than that, but um, we should at least do just about that. So let's start from here in on, okay? And then every single time we will mark it out. Uh, at this point in time, RSI is on a default, on 18 and 20. So, that's basically, I want to give you an idea of, you know, will it work? And does it work? So, rather than going on a forum and asking someone, uh, you know, how, how are you doing a strategy that, that so-and-so gave, you know, how, in a Facebook group, how are you, how are you doing this strategy? Why don't you find out for yourself, okay? This is how you do it. <clears throat> Borderline, yeah, we can do that as well. Very, very close. Because at the end of the day, this is really about curve fitting. So, is this a good strategy? Well, we'll have to see. Yes and no. Remember, we have to stick to what uh, a strategy would say. We have to obviously take it when it emerges from that level, if that is the approach that we're going to be taking. The whole point of backtesting reversal is going to be there to give you, uh, you know, an idea, idea of if this is, is this working, uh, how well is it working, okay? So. All right, let's start with, this is our vertical marker, the start line. Okay, is this a winner? Yes. This would have won. Okay, this is where we have a signal. Okay, hang on, sorry. A signal over here. I'm just gonna, now I'm just gonna shift and be a bit specific. Um, you know what, let's do an overview first. I'm, I'm thinking that there's a lot of borderline stuff. 
So with all these borderline cases, what I can do, I can either do this to 2575, all right? Uh, or I can change the period. So in let's start by making it 7525. And let's see if, you know, uh, we'll, we'll do this once over and see if there's any more opportunities that we may identify. And we'll see, is it good? Okay. So let's, we now we have additional opportunity over here. Okay. And then we have um, <clears throat> additional opportunity over here. And then we have additional opportunity over here. And by the way, um, if you've never been exposed to binary options trading, you can, uh, you know, open an account using a link in the email or the video description where you, where I sent you uh, an email about this video, and then you can just, you know, you can start with a demo. You don't have to go live straight away. You just try it out, get a feel for it. And if you like to venture further into it, you can speak to my page admin, and you know, she will get you started up. Uh, with either the binary lab, ba binary lab basic <coughs> or the elite program, okay. So, looking over this, and I suppose it's decent enough. There are some fakes, as you can see, but not too many. So if a few more setups than they were in the beginning. Okay, let's look at this one here, the first setup. Because it shifted to 75, we have to make some adjustments. This, um, this would have lost on a four minute. We're profitable on maybe like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> so trade one that's uh, a loss on anything less than four. No, a loss of anything less than seven bars. Okay, so trade number two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, um, it would have been profitable, you know, on anything, you know, on <clears throat> actually what, anywhere between one and one and one and six bars, it would have won. Okay, so what about this one? Um, you can see that this is profitable any anywhere up to like anywhere up to about seven, eight bars. Um, so this way we can kind of derive what kind of expiry time we want to give it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven as well. Would we'll be profitable in seven. Um, this one, no chance. Okay, no chance. This is a flat out loss. This would be profitable on anything, not more than. Wow, this one's actually you know, it's a write out winner as well. 10, 10 plus twenty plus bars will still do the job. No win. Uh, this on the other hand would do a um, likewise the same. Um, ten plus bars, no problem. Uh, ten plus bars, no problem. This one here. Like easily like ten ish, and and the thing is this you know when we try to identify the uh, range, I want to see what is the most. Um, okay, when you look at your uh, what 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 kind of a win is a win? When is a win a win? Uh, or rather, what, do you know you're making the right kind of a binary option trade? So you know that you're making the correct binary option trade when. Like at the time that your trade expires, you have captured the most of the move. So as long as you captured the most of the move, you're doing fine. This one, like um, easily ten bars, ten bars easily. This one, um, one, two, three, four, five. It needs to be five or more bars to be profitable. This one, not a chance of winning unless it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is like a no, it's a flat out no. This one here, um, anything more than 3 bars will be a winner. This one, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm getting about seven bars, you know, as the uh, the average. Okay, uh, like generally seven to ten is is the winning the winning amount for today at this time. The next step is to test. Uh, the way to test, okay, like I say, we have a back test and then you rehearse. Um, so in the meantime, I mean, uh, it, it would be great if there's an opportunity that comes up. I have limited battery. I hope, it, I mean, this is like, I don't know, my battery is, it runs out really fast these days. So it will be great to do an opportunity here. And I hope it still stays down. So I'll wait for this to go a bit further down. And perhaps we can do something on this video. But another thing that you may want to test is that okay over here the winning rate is quite good. There's only been okay, let's let's there's only been about three flat out losses so far. And how many wins have there been? So let's just calculate how many trades. Okay, well, this is a win, there's a win. Uh this is a there's a loss. That could be a win as well. No, this would be a 10 plus, so there's a loss. Uh hang on. Let's calculate all the how many trade setups there were in the past 500 bars just to give you an idea of how many trades you can expect okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so that's eighteen trades in the last um you know 500 bars 18 valid setups in the past eight hours and a half Okay, this has this has already taken off. So unfortunately, you know, I wish it would have gone lower, but no, it's not. Um, now, your next question may be, how did I miss that? You know, that looked really good. How could I have possibly tweaked this to be able to have taken that trade? So I want to share with you something is that, you know, every strategy that you get, um, if you are truly a trader, and this is why I teach all my students in Binary Lab, uh, is that I teach people to understand and to modify, right? Because whenever you get a setting, it's just like, you know, those expert advisors that you, you, you receive sometimes in, a, in, in Forex, you get free expert advisors here and there with a bunch of settings you can play with. Um, a strategy that you receive is simply a starting point. It is not a black box solution. If it was a black box solution, there would be no need for settings to be transparent. But when, this, when the settings are transparent, the whole point of it is so that you can change and alter this. Most people would just be very absolute about it, you know. But for me, for instance, I would say that uh, like my students ask me, like, okay, how do we modify this? Well, I'm just going to share a few more tips with you right now. Um, so if you are thinking that, hey, I should have missed out that one, I should have missed out this one. Um, so first of all, the thing you need to do is that all this 18 setups, okay, if let's say only three are flat out losses for anything, for, for an average expiration time of seven bars, okay, um, you know, if I change my, if I change my RSI level setting, would that enable me to take more trades? Um, well, I wouldn't think, honestly, at this point of time, um, I mean, from experience, okay, I wouldn't say think, I, from experience based on data, I wouldn't recommend anything less than a 75-25. And if there's anything you have to adjust, I will start to play with the period. The period is the average of the RSI on, on let's say, you know, right now, uh, this level, for instance, is the average uh, relative strength index uh, between the high and the lows calculated across the last 14 bars. So uh, I can change this. I'm just gonna give you an example. If I did like a five, I'm gonna have a lot of a lot of um, a lot more maxes uh, maxing out maxing. I mean, it goes above above below above below above below, and that could be a little bit crazy because you will start to notice that you know sometimes well it could be the peak, sometimes it's not the peak, um, and when I switch from the fourteen to the five. You can see, well, yes, there seem to be a lot more uh, opportunities, but uh, there are also a lot of them that would only be good for, you know, one bar. Or sometimes it doesn't even reach that one bar, two bars if you're lucky. 
Uh, and then you start to think, okay, gosh, this is a lot of noise. Because not every signal is a valid signal, so what do we do? Okay, so you start to play around. Um, you can play around. Maybe, okay, we can have stricter levels. We can do like a, maybe like an 85 and a 15, for instance. <clears throat> um, we can do that. And you see, okay, does that improve the quality of my readings? Well, um, at first glance, yes, it does. So you can just do your stats. Remember at the beginning, we did 14, RSI 14, uh, 75, 25, sev averagely seven minutes at this time, this day, for the last eight hours, seem to be quite okay. But you have to do your stats once again with a different set of uh, settings. And then, um, another idea, let's say, if you find that 75, 25 is good, okay? Uh, if you want a, a slightly higher frequency, I, you can actually do it like bit by bit. Don't take a big jump. Or you can kind of, you know that, okay, five is just way too low. Uh, the quality sucks. So let's do something like, you know, uh, let's drop it halfway, something in between, like nine. Will that improve the quality? At first glance, yes. Okay. At first glance, it does improve the quality. But again, you will have to do your statistics. Um, I'm visually noticing, okay. Um, basically for me, I, I've got like... Uh, a knack for pattern recognition and I just look, look I just see things really fast so about four bars this at this setting about four bars will be the average but you have to do your you have to do your um, you know you just have to do some cal calculation you don't do a spreadsheet okay if that's tiring and you hate doing or processing a spreadsheet just do just mark in a piece of paper and then that, that'll be sufficient okay so this is better okay now we'll try to fine-tune would a period of 10 be better than 9? Would 11 be better than 10? <clears throat> would the sacrifice and trade setups um, pay off in terms of overall profit? Because, you know, like sometimes when we win, when we are 75% profitable, uh, the actual amount of profit that we make at 75% accuracy could be, you know, a 5% jump compared to even if we were just 74% accurate for instance okay so um, that's basically how you can you can kind of like back test and the next thing is to rehearse rehearse to see if actual on the actual chart okay when we can arbitrate again once again you know I'm, I'm actually been talking and talking just to try and get some opportunity to show you um, you know setup and then we can possibly take it you know and base and based on what we're seeing here about four four bars okay uh, it came quite close, but didn't quite get it yet. So before I lose this recording, I'm going to hit the stop button. And I hope you're liking these videos. And once again, you know, I, I have a trading group. I teach Forex, I teach binary. And, uh, you know, depending on what you're more interested to learn, uh, I can actually give you guidance in one or even both areas as well. Speak to uh, the admin on my page. It's facebook.com slash the binary lab page to get started. Or if you feel more comfortable with email, it's new accounts at thebinarylab.net. This is Julian Wong from The Binary Lab. Goodbye and good trading.